What up guys, Warprix here. I'm going to bring you uh, my Necromancer build that I've been running on the PTS. It's absolutely absurd. I've never seen such a broken class in my life. <laughs> Some of this shit's got to get toned down. Um, I figured out a one-shot combo pretty much to anyone in the game. So we're just going to skip all the fancy shit. We're going to hop right into it, fellas. So let's kind of take a look at the character sheet here. It's completely everything unbuffed. Uh, everything fully buffed, however. Just kind of what we're looking at. 2200 recovery, 53k max, shit ton of health, a shit ton of stamina. Spell damage is really low. Don't worry about that because this really isn't a high spell damage build. Most of our damage is coming from Max Magica. 2800 crit resist, and our front bar, you see your spell resistances. That physical resistances are pretty good. Uh, it's not super tanky, but the sets we're running does make it super tanky. So there's that. If you guys want to take a look real quick. Uh, races, running tri stats, running the Astro Mundus race. This is the one time I want to advise you guys to please run High Elf. It's absolutely best in slot. Britain second, Dark Elf third. Just this is the one time I advise you guys not to run Dark Elf. Like this class benefits so much from High Elf. You have flame damage abilities, frost damage abilities, and shock damage abilities. We utilize all three, so High Elf it is. All right, so gear sets we're running. Uh, running the new uh, Crafty Elfix set. This is our back bar, by the way. I'm kind of swapped around if like switch at them. Infused with a uh, weapon damage enchant, pretty common. And this is pretty much Necropotence, uh, minus the pet and minus 500 max of magica. Front bar, running a lightning staff. Most of our abilities are AoE based, so they benefit from running the shock. There's a couple that's not, but uh, your ultimate's AoE, and that's that bitch hits right 35k. I'll show you that shit in just a moment. Shock Enchant, Nern Honed, uh, Nern Honed, I just for the raw damage, really. I mean, you could run Shock, uh, I mean, Infuse with a Shock Enchant entirely up to you. On this build, I just prefer Nern Hone. It's a matter of preference, really. Because a lot of your abilities are AoE, and if you run Infuse Shock, that's only pressure on one person. I mean, you need overall damage, so Nern Hone, in my opinion, is the best. Uh, second set for running. Running Pyre Skeleton, oh, first set. Well, yeah, second set, yeah. Ring Pirate Skeleton. This hasn't got nerfed. Uh, this is pretty much our tank set. You just shoot some physical and spell resist. And uh, it turns you into a Skelly. You take 30% less damage. So you get major protection on this build and you get minor protection. And that comes from our skill set. That's 38% just raw damage mitigated right from doing nothing, essentially. This is up 100% of the time. So you have to worry about lowering Armor Master or swift or some shit set like that. Just just pretty much stack damage <laughs> is all, all you have to do. Uh, last but not least, as you guessed, it's probably a necropotence. So here's the set if you guys aren't familiar, running impen on everything. Not running any triglyphs, you really don't need it. Uh, we're running tri stats, and then the necromancer is a health bonus passive. I mean, you could run tri stats if you wanted to. Uh, we'll try glyphs rather. That's uh, entirely up to you, uh, but just. For right now, I'm just running just at the base of ma Max of Magic and Chance. On Jewelry, uh, the Crafty Yellow Fix or Necropotence, whatever you guys want to run. I'm sure Necropotence, when this drops, will be much easier to get, and you'll use Crafty Yellow Fix shit for the body. So uh, when this actually does drop, you'll probably swap these around. Jewelry and the Armor and Chance. We're going to recover on everything. You could pros possibly get away with dropping a couple of these, definitely one of them, and switch it to spell damage if you really wanted to. But I like to over sustain. Like I've never seen such a sustaining glass. I've never. It's it's ridiculous. And that kind of stems from some of the uh, the passives. But I'm not going to get too in depth with the passives unless something really sticks out to me. Um, I do know that uh, I should have morphed this and temporal guard and put this on the back bar. But okay, now everything's set, I believe. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, for the skills running uh, Inner Light, uh, this gives our crit plus uh, more max and magica. I'm going to go over the combos in just a moment, guys, because it is complicated. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, this is one of the hardest bursts to set up in the game, but it's the most rewarding. Like This is really difficult to set up sometimes, but it's a little bit of practice you guys will get. So we're running Stalking Bone Blast. Uh, this bitch is pretty much a proc frag, so we're just going kind to of pop everything here. Shoot, dude, this thing hits for j just hitting them. It hit for 33k. That's 33k in a, a small AoE. Keep that in mind. 33k. 
All right. Uh, next ring, a Mystic Siphon. Uh, this is oh, probably one of our flex spots. I have this here uh, just because while you slide, you do do 3% extra damage. So when you summon your Blast Bones, the only way to activate this ability is if you have a uh, corpse on the ground. You see the corpse on the ground there? You can activate it. It tethers you to it. It restores your stats. And anything around that AoE, it hits them. Plus anything in this beam path will also hit them. So it's a very nice damage over time slash AoE, whatever you want to call it. Plus it restores your stats. I mean, it does hellacious damage. I mean, let's just go over the tooltips, fellas. I mean, I hate to be the one to uh, pop out some tooltips, but uh, that's 33... K dot. Oh, our, our pet kind of died there, but anyway. That's a 33k dot just for one skill, and then our other one's 36k dot over 10 seconds. Alright, and we actually get our blast bones to hit harder. I didn't pop uh, the uh, the whatever the spell power pop, but trust me, this does get up to about 35k. I mean, actually, we have everything proc with your Spell damage and your spell damage bots. Anyway, next ability rain force pulse. This are spammable. Alternatively, you could run uh, this fucking ricochet skull. It's pretty dope, but uh, the animation for it is super super buggy. I mean, right now it's kind of working fine, but uh, sometimes it does bug out and it won't let you lie attack. It just kind of Whatever you want. You see the skulls bounce on every third cast. It's kind of funny. So, <laughs> if you want to get like make this a true like necromancer build, you could absolutely uh, just run ricochet skull. But I feel that uh, even though the uh, destro does do a little bit less damage, um, it's more clean, and plus it does benefit from some of the passives. You know, penetrating magic, and since we're using fire, frost, and lightning, and this can proc any of the three elements, so this is pretty helpful. And plus, you know, when you have all your shit down, it can bounce from multiple people. Maybe. See, you saw the little beam there between those two. So it's entirely up to you. Uh, the Ricochet Skull would be kind of funny to see. Anyway, um, our next skill, uh, this is, you know, 36 or 37k fully buffed. I can't remember what it is. Uh, but uh, it's a lot. It goes higher than that. I'm not sure. Why. Oh, potion. There we go. Yeah, 36, almost 37k. Like I said, this could be higher, guys. Uh, this is uh, our bread and butter. Uh, this is a huge ass AoE dot. As long as they're standing in it. All right, they're inflicted by spell and physical resistance debuff, or it is a major breach. So that's an extra 10% raw damage on everyone who stands in this. Plus, if there's a corpse on the body, for example, you use your blast bones. There's a fucking corpse there. It's going to consume this corpse, and it's going to do even more damage for the duration. 20% more. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Now, you can activate synergy with this. Uh, we're not, there is a morph where you activate your own synergy. It's too much button work, to be honest. So just roll this. Inflict some with the, uh, the major breaches. Kind of what we're looking for. The last but not least, run uh, Pestilence Colossus. This is the one that does not stun because this is a really cheeky stun. I'm gonna go over, show you guys uh, how you can one burst people out of fucking nowhere. Uh, not only does this hit extremely hard, this is the most absurd ult I've ever seen. Like this has to get nerfed. 13k, 15k, 16.5k. You throw all that up, I say like 45k worth of damage in three seconds. Okay. Not only that, it inflicts some with major vulnerability. That's another 30% damage. That's like 55k worth of damage over 3 seconds. Just this ult. Just this ult. And you can hit this every single time as long as you kind of follow the little one hit combo we're going to go over in just a minute. Our back bar is probably our most important to set this up. So, here's your spammable. Uh, always have blast bones up whenever you can. It's super cheap and it hits like a fucking truck. Okay. Uh, Mystic Siphon, just kind of whenever you know, you're kind of turtling or whatever, if you have a fucking corpse up, whatever, just kind of keep this Siphon. I mean, this pulls enemies out of stealth too, so this is really handy. You just kind of walk around and do your thing. Anyway, let's not talk about the first bar. You guys kind of get the, uh, the feel for that. Now, back bar. 
Yeah. Good word, harness word. Uh, you could almost switch this to dampen, almost. And then healing ward. Uh, it's just there because I feel naked without it. Uh, this build does have a lot of really good heals, but we're not really specking into heals. I mean, we're we're gonna one shot fucking people, so this is where our thinking this comes from. So uh, keep in mind the minor protection, the major protection applies to your wards as well. So your wards are essentially 38% stronger once you're on the tooltips. Our health does go up to about 27k in Cyrodiil, so we're tanky as fuck. Now we're running at the intensive mender. Uh, this is a hella big heal, hella big. Um, it heals you for what is it? Fucking on your back bar, 7.7k ticks every two seconds. So, and only that creates a corpse force to use when it disappears. It was here on the ground. I'm not sure where it's at, but. Uh, corpse is very important. Uh, only use this, you know, obviously when your health is not at full. Otherwise, he's not going to animate to heal you. But there's your corpse, and you can use this for whatever. You can use this for your AoE. You can use this for your siphon, whatever. All right. Next, I'll use beckoning armor. Now, this is where the cheeky combos come into. So we're using this one. Uh, it uses our major resolve and our major ward. So here's the snafu. While active, enemies that strike you from a distance are going to be pulled toward you. Now, if you haven't noticed, the mobility in this class is ass. Absolute trash. There's no mobility in it whatsoever. So you have to fight on your own terms. Like You have to fight in your AoEs. You have to fight, you know, you're, you're pretty much stationary. So what this does, when people try running in front of you, they're snipe spamming you, they're hitting you with frags or whatever, this pulls them fucking toward you. So you'll have, you know, for example... You'll have your fucking AoEs up. Okay, you'll have your whatever the fuck this thing is up. Alright, now here's where the combo gets sneaky. This is the most important skill, it's called Remote Totem. Alright, so this gives us our minor protection for 10 seconds, effectively. Now, after 2 seconds, the totem is going to fear them. This is unblockable, this is undodgeable. Okay, so when you summon up 1, 2, you see a purple ring that kind of goes out? That's what stuns them. So your entire combo, obviously have your AoEs up, okay? It's a pretty slow walk. Have your AoEs up. Cast a Blast Bone, Totem, Ult. That's all you have to do. I mean, of course, Weave spams in from that from there. So what this does, if you have your... If, even if they're out of your AoE, you can time their CC immunity to where they're going to be pulled toward you. Okay, so what this does, you're, you're hitting them with 37k dot. We found that was about, this was like 33k. So it's two dots immediately hitting them, okay? You're hitting them with a, essentially a proc frag. At the same time, this shit's going off into an unblockable CC. And you know how furious this kind of like, it takes a little while breaking. Even if you break free roll dodge this shit, you're still going to get hit by this fucking slam. You're going to get hit by at least two of these. And this inflicts you major vulnerability. It's a straight up fucking one shot. There's no, there's just no way. And most of the damage is AoE. You can't block AoE. So, this, I'm assuming it's going to get nerfed, but that, that's the combo. Now, there, there's all kinds of other abilities you can run. You don't have to play it this way. You can have so much fun with this class, but if you're wanting to fuck kids up, this this is the way. If you know the way, this is the way. Now, you have Temporal Guard in the back guard just for his little bubble. Not for sure. Uh, with the Sigic Order skill line, I'll go over that real quick. Uh, when you have this shit slotted, you automatically get minor protection. And then uh, you get a little uh, 6k shield when you block. This refills over 10 seconds long, assuming you don't block in between. So... All our bases are covered, you're super tanky, the burst is definitely there guys, now, you may not apply a lot of pressure overall, but, your burst is fucking there as long as you time right, your overall sustained damage, like I say, it can be there, but positioning is super important, you need to keep track of where your corpse are and where you're playing, because there's no mobility in this class, there's no get out jail free card, like, you're in it to win it, in open world, now in duels, the build is a little bit different, I'll go over that at some other point, but as of right now, this is what is absolutely slaying people in open world, the really funny thing is, people's upon keep spamming you, if you have this fucking shit active, it actually pulls them down toward you, so, have a little bit of, a little bit of fun with that, uh, CP tree, we'll go over that, 
Um, but I really love this glass, guys. This is such a phenomenal glass. It is outrageous. It's probably going to get nerfed, but that's okay. Now, CP tree. Uh, still experimenting a little bit with this, but here's one ring for now. 64, Heli Expert. 40, Elfborn. 51, Spell Erosion. 56, Mastered Arms. I think we have one, maybe two direct damage abilities, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, as long as you got this up pretty high. Five points in Thaumaturge. Like I said, we run a lot of AoEs. Uh, there you go. 56 Ironclad, 22, 38. Uh, pretty standard, 21, 27, 27, 23. Just really low count value points, lot. not really a lot of diminishing returns on these. So 56 in the Bastion with super high health pool, super high magic, guess so. Uh, you can almost get, I think you can get to the 40% threshold. Uh, we have about 53k max magicka on our front bar, so you can almost get to that 40% threshold as long as you guys win points in the Bastion with 27k health. So do the math on that one. And then last but not least, a green tree. Sprinter, just because you don't have any mobility, guys. So you gotta run a lot, unfortunately. 56 there. Don't have a lot of stamina recovery. You don't need it as long as you're high elf. You simply do not need it. Recovery. 56, 56, because I do these pretty much equally. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed the build. I'm having a lot of fun with this shit on the PTS. Um, notice we don't have a spell power buff. Uh, you can either use the alliance bots for that or just the straight up spell damage bots. Uh, all this shit's free on the PTS, so of course I'm going to use uh, the most OP shit that I can. These ones right here. Uh, no re no really point in having the spell power buff since our spell damage is pretty low. I mean, you can, but... Uh, it just kind of wastes a slot. But that's what I'm running this patch, guys. I don't see this changing too much in the future. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the build. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, either today or tomorrow, I'll try to get some gameplay footage put together. There's not a lot of people playing right now, so it is kind of difficult in finding people to uh, to spar against and duel. But uh, hopefully it'll be pretty active tonight when most of the people get on. And uh, I'll try to get some footage, recording stuff for you guys. But... If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments, and peace.